everybody and welcome to i'm a dad i should know how to do these things it said um we're right now underneath our lawn tractor which uh well oh, this is my cane by the way because i recently had hip surgery but don't worry i'm okay so i'm underneath my craftsman lawn tractor uh because today while my son was operating it um he said it lost all brakes what he really meant to say was it lost all um throttle control in the fact that it has a hydrostatic transmission and the lever up here was just going back and forth and not doing anything in response to the input and the tractor just kept moving quickly. Uh, so I've traced it down. It looks like the situation is this control arm linkage here. You can see when I move the lever forward, it does that, but it looks like there's supposed to be a cotter pin in there to hold this rod in place to keep it from moving back and forth because that's what actually activates the transmission down here is that rod attached to then the the linkage that goes up to the input lever up there so i'm going to try putting a cotter pin in there and see what happens and i noticed also that the return angle lever uh, seems to be missing a pin as well so i'm going to try and put a couple pins in there see if that helps all right it's uh it's about 16 hours later on the project and uh, we have discovered something. It is not a cotter pin hole. It is not a, uh, um, you know, like a C clip that holds on this part right there. Uh, again, we need something to lock this. I did manage in the overnight hours to attach a cotter pin here to make sure this part doesn't slip out. And I gotta say, Craftsman used to be a name for quality. I'm not sure I trust it anymore. Um, to find out what kind of connector this is though, I thought, well, let's look for similar connectors on the tractor. So I'm gonna look at the bottom of the arm here, and I'm gonna turn the camera around so you will see me eventually. Uh, but let's see if we get a shot of what. I know, it's the, it's the magic of filmmaking. Uh, so I'm going to slip it back in like that and then put it down briefly and pick it back up. So hopefully by now, and if we can't see it, we'll put a, uh, we'll get a still of it in the video there. It is called a push on friction washer. So, uh, through the magic of Amazon, we've just ordered some of those. Uh, so hopefully we will have this worked out soon enough. We'll show you how, come on, focus up now, camera. There you go. That's the, that's the piece we need to connect right up there. So hopefully we'll get this done soon. And through the magic of video, it will seem like no time has passed at all. And I'm sweating in the garage because uh, finally, we have the part that we need to do our repair. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera now so you can face and maybe see. It uh, was not a cotter pin. It was, there's was no hole, no groove. So it's not a little crescent kind of washer. It's these press on uh, washers that have a little star pattern on them and I just got a shipment in from Amazon. So let's see if we can put it on Okay, so What I'm using is a socket uh, driver to actually uh, wedge Let's see if we can get a shot in there. Hopefully I'm looking at it. Let's see if I can wedge that crown Onto that post. So let's uh, let's see what happens. Well, I think I have it It, uh, it took some muscling on but I believe that I have it. Let's uh, give it a try here. So we move the lever down. And bring that lever back up. All right, it appears to still be on there. I give the rod a little tug. Doesn't seem to be coming off. So I think we got it. You got to do this repair. Good luck.